Good morning, God's people. This is uh, Easter uh, Sunday, and uh, we are uh, we are together to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a day indeed it is for all of us. One of the one of the biggest celebration in the Christian calendar all over the world. Uh, so let us really be in a celebrative mood this morning because we have reason to celebrate. The psalmist called us to worship this morning is from Psalm 118 and verse 24. This is the day, he said, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What a day indeed it is for us as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I hope after the celebration you are able to get together with your family and uh, and taking all the precaution for COVID of course, especially to some of our seniors. Uh, but get together with the family, celebrate because we have a reason to celebrate because our Lord has been risen from the dead. He is risen, and He is risen indeed. So let us uh, get into God's Word this morning for us. God's Word for us this morning is from John chapter 20, and we will be reading from verse 1 to verse 18. John 20, we will be reading from verse 1 to verse 18 early. In the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been moved from the entrance. So she came warning to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were warning, but the other disciples outwarned Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in a, in a strip of linen laying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter, who was behind him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the strip of linen laying there, as well as the burial clothes that had been around Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside, he saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to be raised from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their home, but Mary stood outside the tomb crying as she wept. She bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body has be, had been, one at the head and one the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but he did not realize that, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? 
thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Laboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the, with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. May the Lord bless the reading of his word to our heart this morning. May he really inspire us as we celebrate the resurrection together. This is the time in our worship this morning and this Easter morning to go to the Lord in prayer. We have a God to pray to. Praise be to the Lord. And we know that this resurrected Lord Jesus Christ with the resurrection power, hear our prayers. And uh, let us go in confidence this morning. Not in confidence in self, but in confidence in the God who has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that he has the power to hear our prayers and to really answer to all of our prayers. Please join me as we pray together to the Lord. Lord, in raising Jesus from the dead, you made this day, Easter Sunday, a day of rejoicing. Grant that we will sense the glory of Easter event so that each Sunday is Easter and each day is filled with the meaning of the hope that Easter has brought us. Father, we give you, you give us patience for the journey. Keep us from jumping to conclusions, from criticizing others too quickly, from not trying to understand issues that they are going through. We have said that we want to care about others and to help in all kinds of circumstances. Our lips have said it. Now please, O oh Lord, help us to show it in action. Teach us how to do it your way as you give us opportunity and guidance all along the way. Because we have received so much, help us to be willing to share our wealth and our blessings with others that I need. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the great example. We celebrate your resurrection this morning. We acknowledge your resurrection power. By example of you, O oh Lord, may we live lovingly, generously, faithfully, joyfully, and sacrificially, all through our future, in our future days in this world, may we seek your face and find your help so that when the journey is done, 
we will discover ourselves standing at the door of our eternal home, hearing those words of acceptance. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into your reward. For this, Lord, we come in this Easter Sunday, thanking you for the hope that Easter has brought to us, thanking you for the hope that someday, someday, the trumpet of God will sound and the dead in Christ will rise and those who have believed in you will be with you forever and ever. We will reign with the Lord forever and ever. So Lord, we, we commit ourselves to you and we commit our ways to you. And we pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who have taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now this is the time to get into God's word in this Easter uh, Sunday as we celebrate. Today I want to talk to you about uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ as a barrier breaker. Recently we had a big celebration that happened for the world in the United States when for the first time they have selected a black woman to be in the Supreme Court of the United States. Thank God for a mind like her. That's a barrier breaker. Because of man's wickedness, it was never allowed. But now, God has opened the way and break the barriers that man has made we do know now that we have such a lady representing the minorities in this great land. But today I want to talk about a barrier breaker that is bigger than racial barriers, that is bigger than gender barriers, that is bigger than poverty versus rich barriers that the world has built up to keep others away. A darkened garden, as we have read in the Holy Scriptures this morning, an empty tomb, an abandoned grave cloth. We begin there this morning. But John offers more than that. He offers a grief-stricken woman who came to the tomb that Sunday morning. A foot trace between rival disciples, John and Peter, running into the tomb to see this miracle of miracles. A mysterious gardener was also a part of the mix. And yes, more. A, 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 a bottled room harboring a terrified men that we call disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jewish, all of them betting and losing on the failed blasphemer and crucified criminal, Jesus of Nazareth, as Messiah, each fearing vengeance from their more orthodox religious compatriots. Then in that bottled, bottled room, the presence of Jesus with words, wounds, and a mandate appeared. 
some story. Indeed, what a story that we have on Easter Sunday morning. What is it about? A ghost? A resurrected corpse? Is that why we sing and celebrate today? The DNA is reconstructing itself. Is that what it is? The rising into the sky of the executed Jesus. The one they have crucified. The one they have made sure they have had the proof that he was dead. As my grandfather used to say, body boots and breeches. Is that what Easter is all about? Is that what resurrection mean? Come with me as we journey through the word of God and find a little light for ourselves in the deeper meaning of Easter. First, no way. For John, resurrection mean, among many other things, that our new community confronts our current communities. For John himself, writing from within a tight, loving, persecuted com commune, Easter means a new realm of mutuality, a trust making its way amid this world of brokenness and division. For John, Easter means breaking barriers. John's image tells all. Remember? Jesus as the Christ breaks into that locked room. Barriers broken. But even more, when Mary Magdalene turns from the tomb, she turns to face Jesus. She fails at first to recognize him. Why? Why would she fail to recognize someone that has been with her for all these years and have been close to her? She knows him. She loved him. She followed him. She failed to recognize him because she turned to face a new quality of existence. She find him unrecognized. He was not recognizable because she looks at an alternative to life as we have come to know it. When the gardener calls Mary by name, she turns again. She turns, first of all, away from our world of tombs and crucifixion. Yes, she turns <clears throat> to face life asserting itself against death. In truth, she grabs Christ as true community breaking into the communities and status quo that we have structured to kill the likes of Jesus and to fragment the loving, trusting communities he embodies. When Mary joyfully falls into Christ's arms on unconquerable love asserts itself as a victor over death, triumphs over all that would splinter, throw us into chaos and separate us from one another. Yes, death is dark. No one has ever experienced their loved ones out of the tomb before and never had the hope really established that it can be done. And yes, 
we discover even more as it's at the at the core of the Easter message the event we celebrate this morning this Easter Sunday morning provide us not only with an announcement about unconquerable love binding us together but boy barriers were broken barriers were broken reason enough to for us to rejoice reason enough for rejoicing this Easter Sunday morning it is challenges us to exercise loving and just community among ourselves Easter is not some mind bubbling even taking place in a Palestinian garden 2000 years ago Easter affirms the ground of our hope today the roots of our future as a human community it challenges us you and me to serve a resurrection community barriers breakers and end for the whole world it challenges us to live a diff differently for one another well that first Easter it brought the disciples and the friends of Jesus together and this Easter it is no different we have Christians all over the world that will be getting together celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ oh that togetherness is a barrier breaker people from all over the world people from different color of skin people from different tongues men and women and children they are all gathering together this Easter all over the world celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ secondly our question then this morning as we face the empty tomb can we leave this radical Easter hope that came with it can we signal resurrection community can we bear our discipleship as barrier breakers friends living the Easter hope means first of all the responsibility of healing of barrier breaking in personal relationships when our Lord stood among those terrified disciples and asserts, remember his word, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. And if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. When John reports Jesus saying that, he means that by leaving the Easter gift, we can begin again with one another yes Easter is always happening in the spring when everything around us is having a new beginning yes you and I can begin again you and I can restore relationships you and I can begin anew with God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ when John report this John wanted to bring some fire into those depressed disciples who have experienced Good Friday when their Lord was dead and put in a tomb like any other. There was an excitement not really known among men that Sunday morning. And they have got together now to celebrate it and we have got together this morning to celebrate it too when John saw what was happening no ties so tied that was not being able to be broken no bones so uh, mutilated 
that the dimensions of the uncre the uncreable and the uh, uh, love uh, that Jesus has brought into the world, no hate could really resist that love that came in to us in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It cannot be recreated. Barriers has been broken. Heaven knows most of us need such a new beginning. Our ties to one another are too tenuous and brittle. We find ourselves in uncircumstances trying our patience, our tolerance, our goodwill. Many of us with families identify with that classic mother who trying to hold her family together and find herself shouting, we are going to have some family togetherness here, even if I have to chain you to the bed. We live with tensions illustrated by the, the, the caustic repertory between Winston Churchill and another parliamentary representative beside Brad Locke. Remember, as Churchill emerges from the indulgent dinner, Bradlock observes, Winston, you are junk. And beside, Churchill counters, you are ugly. But tomorrow morning, Winston Churchill said, at least I will be sober. Oh, yes. Barrier breakers cleanses our relationships. It, for, it forges forgiveness. It heals wounds bleeding most among and within us. I will never forget a memoir Alan Parton wrote after the death of his wife, Dory. Parton remembers a particular painful occasion when Dory bluntly tells him she could never love him as much as she loved her first husband. Wow. Peyton is crushed. But within the mysteries of human relationships and under no small duress, forgiveness for the injury is begged for and offered. Yes, Patton has to find it deep within his heart to forgive. And as Patton closes his reflection on that occasion, he wrote, and I quote, what strange creature we humans are. Just how we come to love one another and to care for one another for all of our common life and to grant one another territories on which the other does not trespass and to bore with one another mother's foibles and weakness and to grow closer and closer until we have but one mind on all the things that matters to us most and so have children and to put their welfare and happiness above all other things and to give them safety and security until it, it is proper for them to find these things for themselves. How is it ever comes to happen in this imperfect world? Only God knows. Indeed, only God, the truly miraculous barrier breaker knows. Yes, today we are celebrating 
barrier breakers, you and I can leave this worship service and go break some barriers. Thirdly, but the barrier breaking of resurrection goes beyond the personal walls we build between and among ourselves. Easter proclaimed the radical dissolution of social barriers as well. The powers of politics, of commerce, of religion, those powers finally conspire to nail Jesus to the cross. On this Easter day, we confess the love of God in charge of those powers as well. The barriers we build, the structures we nurture, the ideologies we pursue cutting us from one another, marginalizing, dividing, and trusting human beings in powerless, third class, personally demanding circumstances. These have no place with the future that God has provided for us. That first Easter when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Do you remember John's gospel tell us about Jesus confronting those disciples in a room locked against the world? Christ dissolved locked doors. Christ turned closed doors, society, into open societies. To John, Christ bears the quality and the reality of peace born of justice. On Easter, we celebrate and attend to the discipleship of breaking down barriers of injustice and opening closed societies to those whom we have rejected yes there's something to celebrate there's a power in the power of the resurrection that you and i can go out to our families into our friends into our schools into our communities and break barriers Fourthly, at last, we confess on this Easter day a God who finally breaks those barriers, splintering the human race into creeds and tongues and races and nations. We reaffirm the glory of creation designed as a rainbow. If the Easter promise and its barrier breaking means anything, they transform the human race into the human family. Isn't this, isn't this the gospel of hope? Even, isn't this what Easter is reaffirming to me and to you? Those walls, those barriers that are built up by human beings out of selfishness can be broken. The resurrection promise, I mean, the stress and the violence of culture in the national, in the ethnic conflict. Do we live with Israelis and Palestinians at one another's throat forever? Easter says no. Do we struggle with the great powers of Russia as we've seen it displaying in war against the Ukrainians? The great powers of China, the great powers of India, and the super power of the United States of America, each claiming regions of interest struggling against one another for political or economical 
edge money selling arms by the by the megaton in a world where vast population of the people of this world are starving each and every day and fight to stay alive because of the lack of the basic things of this world Easter say no Easter is giving us resurrection power to bring some justice into the world to bring some social justice and to bring compassion to bear in the hearts of every man we can break these barriers there's a power that is bigger than Russia there's a power that is bigger than that of China and India and in the United States of America it is the power of the resurrection that come to us this first Easter Sunday through our resurrected Lord Jesus Christ selling arms will not bring this arming each other with more weapons to destroy each other is not going to do it yes Easter says enough Easter say do we uh, continence human trafficking millions without health care brutal civil conflicts among people where the lives and the health of children women the uh, the aged are always at stakes for you for me for this trouble yet glorious world of world of gods what can we say but come all ye faithful raise the stream of triumph gladness in gratitude in enjoy in service let us celebrate Easter the barrier breakers and get into our world and get busy for the Lord Cradford has written this about justice I love the virtual Easter testimony of Bishop Desmond Tutu as well who's speaking from his own experience and struggling against the barriers of racial injustice that he has observed in South Africa our God is a God who has bias for the weak and we who worship this God who have to reflect the character of this God we have no option but to have a like special concern for those who are pushed to the edge of society for those who are different seem to be without voice we must speak up on their behalf on behalf of the drug addicts in the down and outs on behalf of the poor on behalf of the hungry of this world the marginalized ones of this world on behalf of those who because they are different they dress differently and on behalf of those who because they have different sexual orientations from our own tend to be pushed away even to the brinks of putting them in the garbage oh to those who are so pushed away by our society away from the uh, peripheries we must 
be where Jesus would be. This one who was verified for being the friend of sinners. The one who stood up for the weak, for the poor, and for the marginalized in our world. And then I close that we have this barrier breaking power that the resurrection has given us and one that look like many of us who are listening to this video this morning Maya Angelo she expresses our interindependence in our reflection and title of one of her poem and I'm quoting the title was human family she wrote my Angelo I note the obvious differences in the human family some of us are serious and some strive on comedy some declare their lives are lived as true profundity and others claim they really live the real reality. The variety of our skin tones can confuse, bemuse, delight brown and pink and beige and purple, then in public blues and white. I have sailed upon the seven seas and stopped in every land. I have seen the wonders of the world, not yet one common man. I have known 10,000 women called Jane and Mary Jane, but I have not seen any two who really were the same. Mirror. Twins are different, although their futures jib and lovers think quite different thoughts while laying side by side. We love and lose in China. We weep on England's moors. We laugh and mourn in Guinea and we strive on Spanish shores we seek success in Finland and are born and die in Maine in my in, in a mirror we we are different yes but deep within ourselves God has made us different. God has made us to be one. And God has made us to be barrier, barriers breakers. Oh, that we will take on those man-made barriers this Easter and go out there in our world and face our world with this Christ message. We have the power of the resurrection just as Jesus was first to burst out of the tomb, just as Jesus was first to reconcile men to God. To bring man into relationship with God. Oh, you and I have in this Easter Sunday the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ with us to go and be barrier breakers. To do what women has never done before. To do what men has never done before. To do what young people have never done before. To do what senior citizens have never done before because of the power of the resurrection we can because God says we can 
please bow your head and pray with me as we continue our celebration by responding and singing joyfully the hymns of the church. But let us pray as we dismiss and as we go on our way celebrating and find barriers and walls to break down in the name of the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. May God's grace spoken clearly on Resurrection Sunday and ever our encourager guide our step in the days ahead of us and may with with joy celebrate the living presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and live in the fullness of the favor of God in our lives. O oh, now Lord Jesus, send us out to be barrier breakers as you did in that first Easter Sunday when you have break the barriers of death and uh, to resurrection of life. Oh, because he lives, we also shall live. Amen.